so this is pretty cool. Not only is it apparently just that it's snowing on the Pokemon Go here, but uh, there is a little thing that they've updated. And I hope you can hear me. Let me turn the volume down. So there's a little thing that they've updated that is really awesome. And I think it's probably an April Fool's Day thing because it, it showed up yesterday and it's still going today. Um, and they're presenting it like it's a, a big improvement. <laughs> but in the news here, right here, says experience Pokemon Go like never before with brand new graphics. And they've updated all of the Pokemon sprites to an 8-bit <laughs> image, as you can see here at the top. And it's it's really, it's hilarious, and I love it, because I love the 8-bit stuff. But, uh, it's really cool. I wanted to go through it. It looks like they've even updated it in the, wow. There's Lugia. They've updated it in everything. It's not just the... This, this sprites for that report. That doesn't have it. And there's Mew. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. They're 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 bigger on this screen, and you can't hardly tell what they are. It's so blurry. You got Golem, the raid battle. But I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through the Pokédex. I don't have them all unlocked yet. Uh, but I wanted to scroll through it and show you guys all the different Pokémon that they have. Because it's really cool. I've got all of the non-legendary uh, Kanto region. I've got most of the Johto region. And I'm missing a lot on the Hoenn region. But it's really cool, and I'd, I'd love to know how they went through and they they made each one of these into an 8-bit character. Really like Kabuto and Ammonite, they, uh, they're cute. And Kabutops actually turns out really cute too. It's almost more like the like the in-game from the main series of games. It's It's a lot more like that. <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> oh, look at Mantine. And then here's the Hoenn ones that I have. Whalmer. Some of these are just too cute. It'd be really cool if they were feeling feeling nice to allow you to change it in your settings to keep it like this or to switch it back. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Orleans. So, but that's uh, that's their current uh, current update to the game. Plus, they've got the field research here, which is really awesome. Um, gives you a chance to get Mew, and apparently, it's pretty easy to encounter him from what we've heard. So, lots of rewards, lots of extra experience, just tons of uh, new things to do to kind of. Um, re-excite the, the players into playing and keeping going on it because in between releases of new Pokemon and especially with smaller towns that don't really have access to a lot of the uh, variety the big towns do it can get uh, kind of monotonous just doing the same thing over and over again hoping that um, something new might possibly show up so 
but this is a really cool change and, and I'm, I'm enjoying it and like I said I really hope they leave it as a as a optional settings change you can make um, on your own if you want to keep it <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video and, and enjoy the snow like weather this Easter morning <laughs> and have a great day and stay random of course